Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to decoupage shoes. You will need a pair of shoes, preferably canvas, although other styles will work as well, fabric, fabric scissors, greaseproof paper, normal scissors to cut the greaseproof paper, a pencil, fabric mod podge, and some paint brushes in an assortment of sizes. You may also want to have handy a rotary cutter and cutting board instead of your fabric scissors if you prefer, your clips to stabilise your greaseproof paper as you're making your pattern, a Stanley knife to cut off any excess fabric once they're on the shoes, and pins for if you're cutting using fabric scissors. So the first thing you want to do is grab some greaseproof paper and lay it over the side of the shoe that you want to cover with fabric. You're going to go along all the edges and seams with your pencil to create a pattern using your greaseproof paper. So now you just want to cut that piece out with your normal scissors. I wouldn't recommend using fabric scissors for this as it dulls them. Um, and this will give you your pattern piece. So technically this should be a mirror image to the other side of the shoe or to the other shoe, um, the outside or the inside, whichever measurement you took. Unfortunately not all shoes are made equal and this isn't always the case so I do recommend to check it against your shoe before you cut your fabric. So even though I'm measuring the pattern piece on the same side of the shoe that I drew the pattern from, it's still not measuring up quite to the top of that seam there. So what I'm going to do is draw the pattern piece again, but using clips to help stabilize the paper. So I made a, sm a slit at the top there um, to help curve it around the top of the shoe. And then I just clip it to the top, which will just hold it in place so that when you draw your pattern, it should be a bit more accurate. You don't have to do this. Um, you might be more accurate freehand, um, but I did find that it helped in the process. So once you've cut out your pattern piece, you can check it against all of the sides of the shoe and if it fits all of them, that's great, you only need the one pattern piece. However, if the shoe is not made exactly equal, you might have to make a separate pattern piece for each side that you want to decoupage. So traditionally, 100% cotton fabric doesn't have any stretch, however, if you pull it diagonally, you will see that it does have some stretch. Um, if you pull it horizontally or vertically, there is none. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the pattern piece diagonally. This is called on the bias and it just allows the fabric to stretch um, around the contours of the shoe. Because the shoe is not exactly flat, uh, it just helps it to bond a bit nicer. So there's a few ways that you can cut out your pattern piece. You can use fabric scissors like I'm using here. I also used pins to help hold my pattern piece down onto the fabric, but you don't have to do that if you're more accurate than I am. And you can also use a rotary cutter and cutting board. I don't tend to use pins when I'm using this method, but you can do whatever you're more comfortable with. So I popped a piece of greaseproof paper down just to protect my work surface, but before we get to gluing, I would recommend checking your fabric piece against the side of the shoe that you're putting it on. If it's too big, that's not too much of an issue. We can trim a bit here or we can um, deal with that later, but if it's too small, you will find gaps um, and you'll be able to see that shoe underneath poking through, which is not what you want. With cutting the fabric on the bias, it will help eliminate this as you'll be able to stretch it a little bit and push it into any gaps that you might have missed. But if it's way too short, then you're gonna to wanna to recut that pattern piece and start again. So when you're gluing, I would recommend using a decent sized brush so that you can get as much surface space as possible. I tend to paint the glue from the inside to the outside just so that you don't end up with the fabric folding in on itself and make sure that you get all of the edges and corners just to make sure that we can stick it down properly. So 
So when applying the fabric to the shoe, try and line up all of the edges along the seams and edges that you've got there. I like to push the fabric from the middle to the outside and that just eliminates any air bubbles that you might have. I also like to run my fingertip or fingernail right along the seams just to make sure that it's as seamless as possible. Now if you find that the fabric is slightly too short to meet the seams, again just try and push it as much as you can. If you've cut it on the bias, the fabric should have some give to be able to squish it up into the corners. If you've cut it way too short then you will have to just take this off and um, create your pattern piece again. If the fabric is slightly too large, which in this case right in the corner there, I, you can see that it is too large and what I will do is I will cut that off after it's dried. So I've allowed my base coat of glue to dry for about an hour and this means that it's dry enough for me to cut off any excess pieces. I use a Stanley blade um, but obviously if you are using this please do be super careful, um, we don't want any mishaps. You also don't want to push too hard because if you push too deeply you're going to end up cutting the shoe and not just the fabric. So once you've cut off all of the excess pieces of fabric, you're ready to start your first top coat of glue. I use a fair size brush to cover the majority of the base of fabric and then afterwards I go in with a smaller brush to get all of the finer details. So you really want to focus on all of the edges and seams as these are the bits that are most likely to come apart once you've started wearing them. So this first layer is probably the most important just to make sure that they are all stuck down. If you find that any pieces are lifting, they weren't properly stuck down on the first bit, then you can always um, put your glue underneath and stick that bit down as well. So because you're working with 100% cotton, it is likely to fray along where you've cut it. So if you do notice any pieces of string sticking out, you can try and cut them off with a small pair of scissors, but anything left over, just make sure that you're brushing them along the grain flat with your glue brush and that should keep them stable there for you. Then I like to just brush back and forward along the whole base to make sure the glue is even and wipe off any excess glue with your finger or a tissue. So you need to do two more layers of Mod Podge glue just to seal it and make sure that it's a bit more weather resistant. I find that for the last two layers you only need to use a small brush as you're not using anywhere near as much glue. The first layer you're absorbing a lot more glue into the fabric because you've only done the underside not the outside. At this point you've done both sides um, so you're literally just coating it so you don't need that much. Um, again, I would just pay special attention to all the corners and the edges and then just brush back and forth along the middle section just to make sure that it's nice and even and you've got no lumps and bumps. Once you've done your final two layers, You'll need to let the whole shoe cure for about 24 hours and then you're ready to wear them. So once you've let your shoe dry for 24 hours, you will now be able to wear them. I would say that they will be weather resistant because you've put so many layers of glue on, but I wouldn't necessarily say that they're waterproof, so just keep that in mind. So one last thing that you might notice is that they might be slightly tacky to the touch. This is normal and it should go away with time but it will depend on how thickly you applied the glue. So that's the end of the tutorial, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it please give it a like, if you would like to see more content like this please subscribe and until next time, thank you, bye!